Hi guys, my name is Abba and welcome back to my amazing kitchen. And if you are new here, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button right now and become part of the amazing family today. Also remember to turn on your notifications so you would be the first to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Today I'm coming your way with my homemade potato fufu recipe. This is so simple guys, so come along and let's get right into it. So I have here my potatoes and for this recipe I'm using 1 kg of potatoes but you can use any amount of potatoes that you want. This recipe is more about the method and not so much about the quantities or the measurements. Peel your potatoes beautifully and cut them into smaller pieces. The smaller you cut them, the faster it is going to cook. Because there are different kinds of potatoes, for this recipe it works best if you choose the kind that you can also use for mashed potatoes. We have potatoes for frying, for baking and so make sure to check your packaging for the right type of potato. After chopping all your potatoes, I'm going to give them a good rinse under some running cold water and transfer it into my cooking pot. I'm then going to add enough water and bring it to a boil. You don't need to salt your potato. Cover your pot and boil your potatoes until they become very very soft. You want to boil it well or your fufu is going to become lumpy. And I don't know anybody that enjoys lumpy fufu. And now you know somebody. <laughs> so once my potatoes are cooked, I'm going to strain it and allow it to drain and then transfer it into my food processor. But you can also use your blender for this. Now turn on your food processor or blender and allow it to blend until the potatoes become very, very smooth. You want to check on it to see if there are no lumps and it should look very velvety, silky, smooth like this. At this stage, it looks a bit runny, but don't worry, it's going to come out very beautifully. To avoid your fufu from becoming lumpy, it works best if you blend it right away when it's still hot. And then pour your mixture into your pan in which you are going to make the fufu. Now we need a binding agent that is going to help our fufu come together and for this we are going to use some potato starch and you can use any potato starch of your choice but this is the brand that I use. In my bowl here I have two heaping tablespoons of the potato starch and I've added a little bit of cold water just to make a slurry. So add the water little by little because we don't want to add too much water to our fufu. So we just need enough water to loosen up the potato starch and make it silky and smooth like this to avoid any lumps in our fufu. Now transfer your fufu to your stove and pour in your potato starch mixture and begin to give it a good stir until the starch is fully incorporated with your blended potatoes. The potato starch in this recipe is very much needed because potato on its own contain starch but not enough like in cassava to bring the fufu together. So without the starch you wouldn't be able to form a ball out of your fufu. It will be very runny and loose like diehu. And in this recipe you can control how much starch you add to your fufu depending on how solid or soft you want it. So if you want it more soft add less starch, if you want it more solid add more starch. When your mixture begins to thicken just turn it and press it against the side of your pot and repeat it until a solid ball is formed. If your fufu becomes too soft you can mix more of the potato slurry and add it to your mixture and continue to stir until you get the perfect texture you are going for. 
you can always add more starch but can take it out after you have added it so add it gradually until you get the perfect texture you are going for and this right here is the perfect texture for me so my fufu is done i'm going to turn off my heat and transfer this into my asanka and make sure to wet your asanka before you add your fufu or it is going to stick to it so finally i'm going to mold my fufu with my tapoli and you are just going to press and turn it just like you would do in your mortar and pestle this is to me the most fun part about making fufu i don't even know why but i just enjoy doing this you know pressing it and turning it is just a, a beautiful experience and finally our potato fufu is done just look at how beautiful and gorgeous this is. I mean, for somebody who doesn't even eat fufu, I think I have done well. Ana So please give me the thumbs up, subscribe, share this video and help this channel grow. I'm really counting on you. At this point, what is fufu without soup? It is useless now. So we are going to dish out and enjoy. I truly hope that you try this simple and easy potato fufu recipe at home so you know exactly what you are eating. Don't buy box fufu anymore. Buy potatoes and prepare this for yourself and I know you will love it and your family will sure love it too. So until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, remember that cooking should always be fun and exciting. So make this fufu with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye.